Nebula 51, turn right heading 183. You may remember Norse Atlantic Airways, an airline covered in recent times here on the channel. In the past week or so, they've revealed their branding and livery, which for someone like me is very exciting stuff. They're an airline that have felt like they've been around for quite a while, but in reality, they were only first welcomed to the scene just before the summer period of this year. On the surface, they're a low-cost, long-haul startup carrier that is set to call Norway home. They'll be seen throughout Europe though, and will ultimately be focusing on transatlantic operations, utilizing the Boeing 787. Once again, I thought I would reiterate, this is indeed strikingly similar to that of Norwegian. The branding and livery is elegant, but it's obviously nothing too over the top, sticking to your typical tail design. Largely plain and a white fuselage with Norse titles towards the front and cockpit of the aircraft. This is a very staple livery template and you could very easily move around the world and see various different airlines with the same concept just executed in different ways. Qantas namely being an example of the similar concept. But hey, at the end of the day, you don't fix what's not broken and this certainly is not. On their website, the airline explained the branding overall with the following statement inspired by the Norsemen who travelled and explored the world with their state-of-the-art longships. Norse Atlantic Airways will give people the opportunity to explore other continents by offering affordable flights on board modern and more environmentally friendly Boeing 787 Dreamliners. With Norwegian essentially stopping all long-haul flights, in comes Norse to continue where Norwegian left off. With some in fact of their Boeing 787 aircraft that they've acquired on a lease, they'll refit and repaint them. In saying that, one of the major things to remember is that Norwegian called off their long-haul flights for a very important reason, that being the success of them as well, which was rather not present. These flights just did not work, and for Norwegian, they weren't helped with various aircraft and engine problems, but they also just struggled severely to compete with certain airlines that were already established in a market that is very oversaturated. For Norwegian, it just wasn't a good match in pairing for them. Norse is hoping to launch this coming year, however this could very easily slip back into the next calendar year as they await for the perfect time and pending government restrictions, this winter season may not be that. I'll continue covering the development and growth of Norse through the coming months, but if you have any thoughts with a focus specifically on their branding, feel free to drop it down in the comments section below. Thank you so so much for watching this video of mine, I do greatly appreciate the support and I will see you all next time.